In that case, hello everybody. Welcome to Star Fox Assault. One of my favorite games as a kid, personally, and a game I f spent a lot of time on. It's been very like five, four or five years ago. A long time ago. <laughs> I've been around for a while. <laughs> but this game's really, really fun, and it's, it's, it, and I like it a lot, honestly. But yeah, uh, so we're actually running this game on the survival mode, which means there's no saves or anything, which. Normally the game saves after each after each level, so it saves a good amount of time throughout the run. And also bronze, because these difficulty. But yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and start. So three, two, one, go. So yeah, the story of this game is that uh, your team Star Fox, you you know, you got big ol' yeah, you got some ships, you and you got and you want to destroy and at least in this first mission, you want to take out Oikini, who is a the nephew of Andros, basically. That's who he is. Avoid the fire. This game has a lot of this game has a lot of different uh this, this game has a great soundtrack in general. It has um uh, these, these ship missions, it has uh some online missions and some stuff in between as well too, which is you'll see mission eight. It's it's very interesting. And during ship missions I want to actually get these uh these B upgrades which allow you to do more damage. That'll save us a lot of time for later, mostly. In some of these missions, I don't want to save my teammates either because they have extra dialogue later that wastes time. But I also want to get these bombs too, because these bombs are gonna save us a ton of time later on the bosses once we get there. For now, I'm I'm just I'm spamming boosts over and over again, so I just keep constantly boosting, which just saves us time during during these parts. That's what I'm currently doing. This game has a fire rate cap, never never have to like fire my beam as well too, so I want to just kind of not not match as fast as I can, but like match decently fast, I guess. Also, I don't know why I avoid the health ring there, but it doesn't matter. I see not avoid this drop up here from Falco. That's that's all I gotta do. But yeah, the fastest way to get through is just spamming boosts like this over and over again. There we go. And then there's th there's uh, two bombs here, then three bombs in the next section. We're almost in this section here. We start off in space, and then we get to this planet up here, and we just then we just kick lots of butt, basically. Oh, I came over. <laughs> I love how squeaky his voice is. It's great. <laughs> And Ross is all creepy and ominous and has a very deep voice, but like is all like just squeaking everywhere. <laughs> it's charming. Ah, I'll handle him. <laughs> all right, so we actually have an RNG cutscene up here, which means it's a uh, it's completely random how many, how fast it'll take for you to actually skip the cutscene. This one right here. If it if it if I can skip at the end of this dialogue, that means the game load load quickly. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So yeah, I want to actually let my full boost run out there, and then I start uh, spamming boost because the, the full if you boost normally, it saves a bit more time, but you can't do that all the time, obviously. So here's a bomb over here. We're gonna get two more as well. We could get four. We could get four total on this planet section, but uh, I'm not gonna save Falco because it wastes time later to save Falco. Basically, it loses t it loses you time in the boss more than anything else. So Falco Falco's dead. Rest in peace. At least he will be in a second. But Falco normally drops you a bomb. That's why I'm bringing it up. <coughs> This is as far as you go! <laughs> yeah, she has to see Mario Bros. 2 on Game Boy Advance. Forgiven Birdo a voice. And like every boss a voice in general. It's really it's really weird. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing that up, but yeah. Video games are pretty cool. Yeah, she has to video games. But yeah, bomb over here. Another one like shortly afterwards, too. It's just, uh. 
It's uh, right over here. There we go. A little bit left in this section over here. Uh -oh. Almost out of here. Slippy's dead. Slippy is dead. <laughs> here we go. Say so we just want we don't want to save our crew. It just wastes time more more anything else. Here's the eight robot masters. I call it that because it's, just because there's eight robots here that we can destroy. It. We destroy the eight robot masters. Is it possible? We do it. No. Rip. Slippy is dead. <laughs> Alright, time for the boss. This is Oikini. He, uh, just big head with uh, two arms here. We got to destroy it. We got him in the fist. We throw a charge out, uh, keep shooting over and over again, then throw out a bomb, and that fist is gone. We avoid getting hurt there, because if we get hurt there, it actually wastes time. Like, he has, like, extra taunts and stuff. It's weird. And now here is another boss, immediately afterwards. This is the Apparate Moth. We're gonna just shoot two bombs and destroy all of the things on the outside here immediately, which otherwise takes a little bit of time. And now it's gonna stay in the top left corner, because that's our safe spot for the upcoming meteor attack that he's gonna send out. I guess it's like, he takes like stuff from the ground, that's just like, really hot dirt. That's really just what that is. Either way, we gotta avoid it for a little bit, which means I'm just gonna sit up here and nothing's gonna hurt me. Now, hopefully, I can destroy him really quickly. So, he'll open up in a second and then throw out a bomb and get in work. That's fine. I think I'm supposed to shoot him more before I throw the bomb. <laughs> oh, that's fine. No big deal. But yeah, that's mission one right there. And now that's that that was the first ship section of the game. We're now in the first online section of the game, first of many. These are my favorite parts of the speedrun and just in general of this game. They're just really really fun to control and they provide they provide a really fun challenge in general compared to just your normal Star Fox gameplay. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna control we're gonna, we're gonna control Fox Fox on land. So Fox by default has a blaster. And if you if you don't hold down R all the way, you just shoot it normally like this over and over again. But if you hold down the way, you you do a charge like this. Like you go from green to blue to red, and red, red can actually destroy objects on the overworld like that. So we're just gonna use it to go over here, and eventually this enemy is gonna spawn in after about 25 seconds or so, which should be very soon. Actually, about 20 seconds, I think. Ah, uh, keep getting bad luck there. You didn't practice earlier. Like that enemy, that apparatus can spawn right in front of me, and I can get like a. Like a one, like a one shot, two kills, and all that. Get some, get some collaterals going. Probably Call of Duty nerds. <laughs> I could get, I could get that, but didn't happen. But yeah, now that I'll go spawn around here. Just gotta destroy them with my, my landmaster. That was actually really nice. Now it's gonna spawn in some stuff. I go over here to destroy these apparatus because that should give me a sensor bomb. Which is going to be important for skipping uh, elevator section in a little bit. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, take the sense. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. We're improvising. Improvising over here. I'm just going to run over here. Get this, and then go back. <laughs> Normally, you can collect that like inside the Landmaster, but I was a little too far away, I guess, when I, when I killed the Aperoid. Oh, well. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, okay, normally I'm supposed to go into his elevator to my left here, but uh, we can't exactly do like we can do that, but it's just really slow, and you have to make a, a certain cycle for the elevator to save time. So thankfully that skip was found and and just removes like all the not not the luck, but just like the cycles from this level, which is nice. This is the boss here. It's like a giant crab, shall to fight crab. We go underneath it and it boosts up a bit faster. Then we do three charge shots, then two regular shots right here. They'll close up for a second, then two charge shots to kill it. Never mind, I didn't have damage. Oh well. <clears throat> still very good though, still very good. Never played, never played one before. The Star Wars games are pretty cool. This game in particular, I like a lot. I like the game. I like the blended gameplay or the mix of gameplay between a uh, classic Star Fox and like a sort of adventure style like on land. It's really cool. Or excuse me, dinosaur plant style on land. <laughs> I don't know. 
Dire Souls Planet leaked today, which is really cool. It's the, the it was like the game that Star Wars Adventures was like it, like before Rare got bought out and and before like Mimo was like just make make Dire Souls Planets uh, Star Wars Adventures. That that's what that's what it was. It was Dinosaur Planet. It's cool. Anyways, we're on a little tangent here. I destroyed that enemy, that big old honking uh, ape looking enemy, so I can. Uh, he'll drop a grenade. Let me use this to actually set for a death warp right then in this level here. And if I time this correctly, I'll blow my the grenade will blow up right next to this thing. Oops. Unless I just, you know, get hurt and drop it. That's unfortunate. Just gonna do that as a backup. Then back to getting hurt. Thankfully I have plenty of things that can hurt me here, so it's totally fine. Same thing right here, just go over to that. Bam. There must be an oh come on! It was I wasn't shooting it. What the heck? Oh no! Well, we're gonna waste we're gonna waste a little bit of time later in that case, trying to get down to zero health. I have to get down to exactly zero health to set this death warp, pretty much. Oops. And like, thankfully, there's a bunch of ways to make that happen. The main thing is just using these center bombs, which I'm gonna use. to do that. I need one more of those. Turns out. There we go. And then get take out this very last transfer device over here. And then just stand inside his enemy. Just gonna sit right here and chill. Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? And if I do this, if I die frame one after the transition there, the game will actually skip these Star Wolf fights at like at the end of this mission they normally play, which saves like over a minute. It's really cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't get to hear the Star Wolf theme right there. However, don't you worry. We hear it. We hear it later. In this run, and it is godlike. I love the Star Wars theme in this game. For now, though, we're actually getting to Mission 4, which actually has the trick that got me to spear in this game back in the day. And we're gonna do it right at the beginning of the mission here. So, yeah, check this out. So, our goal is to actually destroy three generators so you can just shield generators so you can get inside this giant shield here and get into this building. However, we're gonna not do that. We're gonna destroy zero of them again here because we can actually use our landmaster to clip inside. We're going to position ourselves correctly right about here-ish. Line up correctly right there, and then just go here. And there we go. Actually, that was really quick. Nice. That was a really quick clip. And now we just clip on right past the shield, and there we go. Just advance the game. That trick was found in like 2014 by a runner named Cigna. And it was, the, it was it was the trick that got me into running this game because like I I saw I saw it posted on Twitter way back then and I was like oh my god this is so cool I love this game I should try and speed run it and yeah there we go <laughs> here we are now think of, like the the small domino versus the big domino meme <laughs> I guess for the, for that little progression there. So we get a progression we're gonna progress in a little bit right here but for now I'm gonna taunt. All need to do is destroy all the sentry bots there. And eventually the game will just progress us. I love the noise Fox makes when he gets hurt, by the way. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> come, Just every time. But yeah, we're actually on an about 3 minute auto scroller now. But this auto scroller is really cool because we get to destroy things on top of a freaking R Wing. <laughs> it's like. It's just, it just looks really cool, you know? But yeah, that's that's going down. All we gotta do is shoot a bunch of stuff. My goal is to get a combo of 147 by the end of this. That's the highest I can get. But yeah, for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna chill on. So how y'all doing in chat tonight or today? It's like it's like noon. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm used to streaming at nighttime, so I always say tonight. And that's my bed. <laughs> yeah, how y'all doing today? Hope you're enjoying the thon. You know, enjoy the marathon. I'm pretty excited to see some Star Fox as well. I, I, I'm honestly like super excited to run this because like I haven't I've like seriously run this game since 2016 or so, and like it, it was it was cool when I, when I saw it, I was like get excited because I just it's just it's just a fun nostalgia trip for me in a way. It seemed just this seemed just a really fun time to just both play and run, and the music as well is just so much fun to listen to. It's got just like such a great orchestral orchestral soundtrack. And music too is also just really good in the, in the multiplayer mode of this game as well. But you don't get to hear it, unfortunately, in this run. 
By the way, best line right here. Slippy appears out of midair. <laughs> so good. Fox, you're hitting me. This is no joke, Slippy. Thanks, Fox. Ah, yes, very good. Thank you, Slippy. Yo, Sam, this game is really, really good. It, it was it was really fun de resting this yesterday, like on my stream and stuff. <laughs> like I I haven't I haven't played in a while, and it's 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 it's, it's so good. <laughs> the only downside about the run sometimes is just like all the all the sections of like is like this auto scroll here is one later as well, and then like some of this, some of the ship sections are a bit slow, but like it's a fun time. The game the game the game the game presents itself so well, honestly. In a way, it's it very much just, like stays in character the whole time. It's it's fun. Just doing sort of whack things to take you take it out to, like to under mercy, you know. That's really cool. He's got a really good balance, honestly. I'm very impressed. Also, I think I missed two enemies, so we're gonna be a bit short in our combo. That's okay. What we won't be short on is the amount of fun we're having with this run. <laughs> And that's really the most important thing at the end of the day. Actually, no, I think we're good, actually. Never mind. I think I spoke too soon. Oh, yeah. What? If I hit Falco, by the way, he uh, gives me dialogue. I forgot, I forgot to mention that. We're almost done with, we're almost done here, by the way. After after this is done, we have an, we have a, a boss, which I have a quick kill set up for. Hopefully, I can get it. Actually, yeah, we're good. We have 147. That was right. So yeah, quick kill boss right here. The idea is that I'm gonna shoot a bunch of the enemies that spawn out of the boss, the boss itself, and then uh, get and hopefully get a bomb drop from them. And if I if that, if that happens, I'll uh, do I'll try to do enough damage inside the boss itself. And if I do enough, and I'll throw a bomb out. And if I, and if if I do enough damage, the boss will just kind of like the boss will will die before it closes up. Nice, that was perfect. Heck yeah. Eventually, if you do have damage to the boss, the boss will close up there. So we're, that's what we're trying to avoid. Doing that stays like 10 plus seconds. It's really good. That was overall a good level, too. 509 is super solid for that IL there. I think my like best time there is just, I think it's just barely a 459 or like a low, like a 501 or something. It's something like that. It's been, it's been a while. Alright, but now it's time for another ship section. So we're just gonna cruise on through. Go through all these asteroids here. Gotta avoid dying and stuff more than anything else. This level in particular actually has like zero bombs you can get, except for one, which is out of the way, so we don't get it. So all we're gonna do is just get the B upgrades up. Let's just get B upgrades and vibe. Because this music is really good. The Metro game has a great soundtrack because this game has a really great soundtrack. <laughs> this level, especially, I think, is a good, good, good emphasis of that. It's just some cool space battles and and just some crazy orchestral music. It's so great. <laughs> Oops. I'm trying to get my combo up as much as I can as well, just for fun. <laughs> That's the best thing to do during these levels, just kind of go for large combos. In this game, in this game, uh, you get a point for killing enemies. But, also, but if you kill a cluster of enemies, you get you get ten points, which is cool. Get a little bonus for for it. So then this game just kind of speaks for itself right here. Oh yeah, this game is made by Namco, by the way. So there's a bunch of uh, these little flags everywhere. If you get, apparently, if you get like, if if you, if you beat this game on silver difficulty, uh, you actually get uh, one of the Namco arcade games called Xevious as like a bonus game, which is kind of cool. I never done it before though, so I've actually played it in this game, but yeah. I think it's like I think it's just like a classic arc arcade shooter like Galaga. I think it's I think that's what it is, but I've never I've never seen it before. I played it. That's my guess at least. 
It only makes sense that a game like that would, would be inside Star Fox, you know? <laughs> Barrel roll, whoa! Here's the second beam upgrade. Now we got blue beams. Ooh. Oh, more Doesn't matter if I save or, or, or like, or kill my teammates here either. I'll just, uh. It, it doesn't really matter. They give me health, which is nice, so that's why I usually save them. I guess to go over the plot a bit more of this game, because I only mentioned it briefly in the first level, but, uh. After after you uh, destroy Oiken here earlier, uh, something called an ap an aparoid comes down and tries to okay, you know just, just kill you and stuff. And that's not good. The aparoids are these kind of virus type, just enemies in general. The goal is to just kind of just take over. It's just like take over the world, <laughs> or take take over the entire solar system and all that. The whole Lilat system, I guess. That, that's their whole goal is, is to do that, and we don't want that to happen. And, by do, and they do this so by like basically making everyone zombies in a way, just taking over their bodies and stuff like that. They also take over technology, like you'll see them later on in the game take over, like just take take over a, a whole ship. And also can, they can mutate people, such as the boss coming up very soon here, just by take just by taking them over. It's a uh, it's it's interesting. It's very, it's very cool, honestly. So yeah, this is this is the boss right here. It's Pigma. Pigma was taken over by Aperoids and turned into this kind of giant spaceship sort of deal, or it's trying, giant like space station sort of deal. It's very creepy. So we just gotta destroy these arms when they come out, more or anything else. It's, it's random which arms comes down here now. Hopefully, I can here as quickly. Nice, not too bad. Oh wait, no, you, you're you're not dead. Stop that. Stop with the not dead. You gotta do the die. After destroying the arms, Pigman's gonna open up right here. I go to the bottom of the screen here and then just aim upwards and just keep on mashing, because I'll hopefully kill him quickly like that. That was pretty good. There goes Pigma. By the way, Pigma is never like seen again in this game. Not even like the post, like not even like at the end of the game where everyone's like all, 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 all safe and good and stuff. Even the villains, <laughs> you know, <laughs> even like Star even Team Starlof is fine, <laughs> but Pigma's never seen again though. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Pigma's just straight up dead after this game. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> all right, but here's mission six. This is a uh, we're actually on Staria, the planet, the, the planet where uh, Star Wars Adventures takes place. It's the fastest mission in this run, so Blake, you don't miss it. We're gonna go over here, destroy this thing, destroy that thing, go over here, destroy this thing inside a temple, and then just jump out. Wee! And then we're gonna go in here into, into this cave and destroy uh, these two things in here with the, with a grenade. And hopefully, I, I toss this correctly. Yep, perfect. Just wanna make sure. Also, Slippy just freaking owns Falco right there, damn. <laughs> there we go, that's it though. So, fun fact for, for these two uh, targets inside the cave here. You can actually clip you actually clip your R-Wing out of bounds to actually to destroy them. That's a that's a strat you do, we do in the run now, but I don't do it right now because I haven't run this game seriously in a while. If I ever go back to it though, I'll definitely learn that strat because it saves you, like... I think closer to 15 seconds on a mission that's a rate really short, so yeah. <laughs> Is Sorry different from Dinosaur Planet? N no. <laughs> nah. They're, they're, they're the same thing. Alright, mission seven. These uh, rare jammers, they open up randomly and they'll turn towards you randomly, and they're very random. Did I mention they're random? They're pretty random. Not like a lot like Steve Random, not, not the charming kind or the. More entertaining kind, at least, but like the, the bad kind, you know. My strat usually is is like if they're if they're turned away from me, which these actually are giving me good luck, so that's at least good. If they're turned away from me, I, I try to just like aim towards them, which will make them start turning. Oh, wow, that's really good. Make them start turn towards me again, and then just start moving forward. It's like save some time of movement and all that. 
I'm get I got good luck there. Oh my god, they were all just like immediately turned towards me, <laughs> except for like one of them. And they, open up, they also opened up immediately there. That was really nice. Good stuff. With that though, we have to go over here and get to our R wing. So a little bit of platforming. Bam! Just gonna jump off. <laughs> And now, we get the best song in the game right here, the Star Wolf theme. Unfortunately, it happens during an auto-scroller, about three and a half minutes or so. So, yeah, get the vibe out. Essentially, the idea behind, behind this level here now is that we're kind of team up as Team Star Wolf for the common good. We don't want uh, Coordinary City to be destroyed at all, because, you know, it's we like to see. It's, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, like, we, we just don't want to be destroyed. So we're kind of just teamed up to, against the Apparates here, so they don't destroy it, so they don't destroy it at all. But for now, you get this wonderful, wonderful orchestral version of the theme. It's so good. <laughs> My goal here is to get a combo of 138 by the end of this, just for fun. It doesn't matter for the run or anything, it's just... Just because I can, you know? I'm, as far as I'm aware, that's the highest combo we can get here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep that. Also, I love how, like, every office roller in this game, like, Fox is just on, like, a wing of a ship. <laughs> you know? It's very, it's very, it's very cool. <laughs> very badass, if you will. <laughs> Fox, heck, and McCloud, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, gals, non binary Guys, gals, non binary pals. You know? It's so cool. Love. Love this. <laughs> You're doing okay. I'd expect nothing less from my rival. Oh, looks like I'm better than the bird. Not too shabby, Wolf. Looks like you're Shout out to Panther, by the way. Panther's, Panther's cool. He's got a very, very deep voice. <laughs> what are you aiming at? Alright, I got I gotta shoot I gotta shoot Wolf more. I need, I need to do that. Just cause it be just cause it's funny. What are you doing to my darling Wolfen? Looks like they got a thing for us. Oops. I gotta take care of you. You're gonna hurt me. Not like that. You wanna ride on my wing, Crystal? As long as I'm covering Fox. Oh, okay, fine. Seriously, such a deep voice. That voice actor is so talented. How does he do that? These things again. They don't work the time. We're almost to the end. Have about, I think, less than a minute left at this point. Oh yeah, by the way, if you, want, if you want to hear my favorite song in the game, uh, look up the versus, look up the, uh, the versus mode version of, of Saria, because that's like the best song in this game. <laughs> you got some skills, pal. Besides this song, of course. I'm just saying that right now because of the last level, but yeah. That one's like really, really good. <laughs> and fortunately you don't hear it like ever because it's not often you play versus mode in this game with people, especially right now. Like during these times, but yeah, take that when you can. It's it's really, really good. But yeah, here we go. We got the boss time. So General Pepper, our uh, our commander and all that, he uh his ship gets taken over by an aparoid, and he's still inside there. And we have to destroy his ship in order to save the city while he's still inside there. And it's very dark. <laughs> so yeah, we, he has to kind of just sacrifice himself in order to actually save us. We're actually, you know, save his place. It's really, really dark. <laughs> Poor General Pepper. Hang an F in the chat, please. Okay. Looks like the are in bad shape. 
To go for his fight is, is a kind of lead your shot so you can do more damage to General Pepper. That's that's the goal of this fight right here. That's how we're gonna that's how we speed it up entirely. I'm actually doing pretty well my aiming here. He might actually die in the smoke, which is what I want what I want to have happen. There we go. Just right after it. That's actually really, really good. <laughs> That's a very good aim there, honestly. By the way, pro tip if you ever play this game casually, you use the use the uh, the control scheme that allows you to have two allows the aim of two sticks. Because that'll help you out a lot. <laughs> By default, it's like you have like the single stick aiming and movement, which is kind of which is really really whack. I not recommend using that. You use a twin stick; it's a lot better. Helps you a lot of like aiming correctly in this game. <laughs> but all right, now we have uh, Orbital Gate Assault, which is actually fun fact a a stage in Smash Four. Didn't make it to ultimate though because it wasn't the best stage in the world, but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty neat though. So the goal for this level, or actually, what's going on right now is we have about two minutes to just have gather supplies, gather supplies in a way. You're gonna try and destroy all these apparoids around here, and hopefully they give us some bomb drops and eventually a, a beam upgrade if we get lucky enough. That's what we want to have happen. Oh, the upgrade. Oh, I need that. Just gonna slowly turn around real quick. Just slowly. And we did, yeah. Now we got blue beams. I feel a lot more with you Thank you, Dog Soldier. Oh, shout out to the best character in this game, Dog Soldier. <laughs> but yeah. So my my cue for when that, when this area advances is when Crystal dies. It's it's shortly after that. So for now, we're just gonna keep on getting as many bombs as we can. Help, dog Soldier, no! I'm a Dog Soldier. F. Yeah, that, that's where we're, that's, we're just kind of waiting for a bit. That won't be at a certain spot whenever, uh, whenever, whenever we're done. In this house, we stand, Dog Soldier! Actually, I actually have like seven bombs in, all, in my full beam upgrade, so I'm kind of just I'm kind of just chilling for a bit, honestly. I need to be in kind of the top right of the map here, if you can see it. If you can see. Should be happening pretty soon. I don't need any more bombs or anything. Usually I want a five or six, and sometimes I just get bad. I get bad luck, and I don't get anywhere close to five or six for a while. But yeah, in this house, we dog soldier. You're in danger, Crystal. Get out of there now. Oh, all right. Crystal, no. Man, here's where missile spawns. We got, we got, we got to make sure these missiles don't destroy the orbital gate. You know, that is our goal. Okay, good. Hopefully, these apparoids don't chase me as well too. Because if that happens, they'll constantly hurt me during this part where I need to keep on boosting like this and destroy these missiles. Oh, there's one chasing me. I have to. Hold on. We're gonna do this. This Hexus Apparate in particular. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna lose time on purpose because you know what? It's my speedrun. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> just uh, just because I I want I don't want to uh, annoy me or anything or accidentally kill me if I'm not careful. But yeah. For some reason on this level too, if if you keep on boosting like this, you'll eventually get a little bit back every time. Like I don't know why. It's actually really cool. That's not usually the case with, with, with this level, <laughs> or like with any sort of these uh, ship sections. It's just, it's just a weird property. This level, I guess, it's very strange. All right, cool. Now we're waiting about thirty seconds before our next missile spawns. I don't know why. I don't know why they programmed it this way to, to be about thirty seconds before then, but yeah, this is another good opportunity if you need another, if you need like a, a bo another bomb or anything to get one. I guess one just for fun, but I don't need it personally. It'll spawn just left of this little structure over here. It should be pretty soon, I think. Dog soldier, no! Damn, dude. Poor dog soldier. 
He's just doing his best. Please, sir. Stop shooting me. Okay, it's over here. There we go. Okay, so... And now, after after that happens, there's a... This big missile spawns in over here. Which is composed of three parts. So we have to destroy each part, basically. Start from the back. So just gotta get over there real quick. Space is very large, as you can tell. And we're gonna just unload all our bombs in this thing. This is why we, we got so many bombs earlier. We're like doing very well on bombs. We're actually gonna be like we're not gonna be at not gonna be at zero by the time we finish this. Oops, come on. Actually we might be at zero because I keep missing. We're literally at zero. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's fine because I can destroy us in one charge. There we go. <laughs> I missed like four bombs there. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's funny. Oh well. <laughs> Cause they had like a bajillion of them, so it didn't really matter much. <laughs> but yeah, so we're actually now going to the the hardest level of, of this entire game. Mission nine is very difficult. Hopefully, it goes well. I've done a lot of practice on this today and yesterday, so hopefully, hopefully, I do decently. So there's a lot going on here. The idea is that we have to destroy three shield barriers and eventually destroy. Uh, like the targets, there are four of them throughout the map we gotta we got, we got take care of. We're gonna land our arm wing right over here because it'll be useful for later. These giant spheres, they kind of. They're a. Uh, how do I describe them? They do a quarter of your health if, if they hurt you, and that's bad. Except when we need to do that later, if I play well enough, at least. But. Look at that one later. Yeah, we got. One shield generator down, two down, three over here. Here's a target over here, we gotta destroy that. I also backed up into a shield there, which I'll use in, in, in the next area. I'll use that pretty soon. Just activate with the B button. Destroy you, because you're stinky. Alright, so we're gonna do another recharge blast over here. More, another shield generator right here. If you destroy all three of these uh, exploding things, they give you a sniper rifle. That's useful for later on this level. But also right here, because we can just do this. And then we use this heat launcher that I picked up earlier from one of the enemies up back there to destroy that target really quickly. Just one shots. Then it's gonna go over here for our wing. Jump out right here. And destroy this door with the heat launcher, otherwise I can't get in there. Sniper these shield generators down there, so we don't have to go in there at all. I don't know why I got rid of my sniper for a second. Oops. There we go. And we, we use the entire shield there at the same time, because otherwise the room can hurt you a lot. It is very scary. And we're almost at the end, we have one more. And now I'm, I'm actually going to use this orb to hurt me on purpose and get me down to hopefully zero health. Yeah, we're at zero health right now. Okay, cool. That, that was perfect. So one hit kills me right now, and we're going to use that to our advantage. I'm set up for a death warp we're going to do right at the very end of this, of this area. These, these enemies are not being kind to me here. I'm just going to play it safely. Uh, this is, this is weird. <laughs> uh, crap. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm just going to hug this one in particular. Oh, crap. No! Wait, no, it's not going to work. Crap, no! <laughs> no, I have to do this normally now. <laughs> I haven't done this mission normally in years. <laughs> so normally you death warp there, and it's really cool and fast and stuff, but uh... Yeah, it didn't happen this time. <laughs> wow, okay. Marathon luck, I guess. Yeah, if, if you if you die in the same frame as, as the game advancing, you uh, you skip... You skip uh, sections like this, basically. Which saves you a lot of time. But didn't get it there, unfortunately. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't know why that happened like that. Of oh yeah, those are hatchers. That's right. They spawn raparoids. That's that's why you need to destroy them. Yeah, it's frame perfect, but you can just kind of hug an enemy and it, it works perfectly every time. Unfortunately, in that case, I, I destroyed all the big enemies there, which is normally who I'd hug in order to actually make that happen and make it consistent. But yeah, <laughs> didn't work out the way I wanted it to. 
<laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Thankfully, that part's not too long. It's just you can skip it, you know. At the very, at the very least, I didn't die before then. Because if I if I died before I points, I have to redo everything before then, which is an even bigger time loss. You lose like two and a half minutes from that because that level takes over two minutes. So yeah, good stuff. Now here's the final level. It's actually a very, very hard level, but I'm gonna make it at least like a little bit a, bit, a bit easier than what it is, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we're inside the Aperoid homeworld. We're going we're going straight after the Aperoid Queen at the moment, and hopefully that'll take care of all the Aperoids and they'll no longer take over this entire solar system. You know, it's like that's that's bad. Hopefully we can save all our friends who have fallen victim to these apparites here who have been terrorizing this place. That'd be cool. The enemy attacks are building. Watch out. In this level there are three bombs you need to get and also they're being upgraded towards the end of it. Now it's for now I'm just gonna avoid everything. If I shoot these 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 balls here, they they'll shoot a beam right at me and hurt me, and that's not good. So I, I like not to do that. I can also destroy his shields if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because they're gonna raid. They're out of here. <laughs> this, if I'm like right here, I don't get hurt, if I recall. Yeah, that was good. I remembered stuff. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save Crystal because I want health from her. Health is good. That'll help me a lot later, just in case. Or especially right here too. Mothra's kid makes all the characters dog soldier. Yes! <laughs> Please, someone make this. <laughs> I feel a lot more confident with you around. Thank you, dog soldier. Thank These you. These attacks are intense. It shows how far we've come. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save Falco here because Falco Falco gives us a bomb. And that's very important. There we go. Cool, perfect. We need three bombs for the final boss coming up at the very end of this of this section here. We're almost done with this run. We're very close. And there's the bomb. Perfect. Oh, okay, we don't want to lose our wing, by the way, because if we do, we actually lose our B upgrades. And that's very bad. So make the boss last a bit longer. Oh. You need to stop hurting me. Hurting me is bad. But yeah, now with that, we just have to survive until the end. We have all the B upgrades we need, and we have all the bombs we need. So we'll keep on spam boost. We'll be good. Nice. Thing you're hurt by that shield as well. That shield kind of just like spawns in randomly, so sometimes you just get you can just get hurt by it if you're not careful. You gotta react to where the hold ends up. It's pretty tough in general, honestly, even on bronze. At the difficulty I'm playing on, it's just a hard final level. By the way, speaking speaking of things that are difficult and weird, I'm gonna destroy all these enemies here, or at least not all these, just like a few of them. Because they'll actually reduce the lag if I do that. Once you start moving, they lag a bit. It's one of the few laggers with strats in this run. <laughs> but, yeah. I also destroy some of the stuff in the back here so there's less stuff on screen. In Star Fox 64, a big part of that run is actually lag reduction. <laughs> but this is like one of the few times of the run in this run where uh, that's a factor. Alright, we're at the end of it. Now it's time for the final boss, the Apparate Queen. And here's phase one. We're just gonna just shoot, shoot her a bunch like this, throw a bomb, like that, throw another bomb, and dead. <laughs> That's it. The boss is actually really cool casually. And there's a lot of dialogue up here, here. She tries to trick you by, by like having your father talk, like James McCloud, have your father talk and stuff, and Think he's, and like make you think he's still alive and all that. It's, and, and that the Apple Queen, he tries to tell you that the Apple Queen's actually good and stuff, but no, we don't we don't fall for that. But it's really messed up though. Honestly. 
So she has a shield on her face that I need to destroy, and then I'm gonna destroy her, her singular eye here as well. Just like that. I can't. I cannot one cycle her. Unfortunately, she's gonna. She's gonna close up every time right there. Nothing I can do about that. To just wait. Now it's gotta destroy his little eyeballs. And if I time this bomb correctly here, I can actually destroy her instantly. It's very tight though. Oh, I got it. Nice. <laughs> cool. All right, time is very soon. It's on the final hit of the of the of phase three, which this phase is actually very luck based. Is that a bomb drop in this song? What the heck? Okay, cool. <laughs> never get that there. That's never happened before. All right, so very soon, very soon. Uh, yeah, that's luck right there. If that, if I get that attack, it loses me four seconds. <laughs> And time. All right, cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's Star Fox Assault. This game freaking slaps. <laughs> My one complaint about this game is that I wish it was longer. These levels, these levels are so jam-packed and fun. I just wish there was, I wish there was, I wish there were more of them, you know. <laughs> If you want to, you can watch like some of the end cutscenes before we send off to the next run. Mostly this one right here. There's also a post credits cutscene that's pretty funny too. It also ties the story together as well. Because in, in the story of this game, you actually Peppy sacrifices himself like by ramming the Great Fox into the Apparate homeworld, which allows like everyone else to go in with their ships and destroy the Apparate Queen. So we think Peppy's dead. And that's not good. So I guess that's the end of the Aperoids. So the whole thing was just one big entity. She tried to bypass evolution by stealing souls, but you have to be born with one. All ships, evacuate at maximum velocity. Let's go. Reminder, by the way, Pigma is still dead. You're not gonna see him during this part right here. <laughs> Pigma doesn't survive. He's still dead. <laughs> slippy Pog! I, I, got, I gotta show up the Slippy Pog every time. Shout out to Beltino as well. <laughs> just, just, I just like his name. Big is dead! <laughs> yeah, God, dude, this game's such a vibe, honestly. We'll skip the credits though, and I'll show off this, this end credits cutscene, and then we can move on to the next run. It's, it's like a minute long or so. We did it, Fox. So they skipped the Apparent Homeworld, but what happens Ooh, now? I can't believe it. Some of their friends are still dead after all. But so many casualties. Peppy, Wolfsbane. Yeah, you know, at what cost? So many noble sacrifices. Ah! Slippy, what is it? The scream is so awkward. <laughs> What's that? Hey, could that be? No, it couldn't. Peppy hey, survived. Okay. Yay! Ooh, that was Harry. I promise, I'm really gonna retire after this. It's Peppy! <laughs> Guess what ship P Slippy's driving? What's up? Yo, agreed. Actually. <laughs> You don't like to see Fox, sad slippy. Uh, tell me it ain't so, buddy. You knew about this? So that's why you're Just that everyone survived just because like the Aperoids They took them over, but thing. they can't preserve their bodies at the same yeah. time. It's possible. So everyone kinda survived. Except we kind of just, you know, shot slip shot pick a bunch, so I'm pretty sure he's dead still. Yo. What's up? <laughs> Cause yes, folks. We Cause like you don't even see you don't see Pigma in, in the in the in the end credits either, like. My friends. I don't know. It's really whack. Poor Pigma. <laughs> he's just he's just dead. But anyways, that's enough of that. Hope you all enjoyed the run. Thank you all for watching. It's always a fun time running this game because like I it's it's kind of a blast for the past for me. I haven't run it for, I haven't run it in years. But it's 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 so much fun. This game's really cool if y'all ever get a chance to play it. But for now, let's enjoy Cat of the Kangaroo, our very our very final run.